Hello everyone, Benjamin Kaumberg here uh, and we're identifying Cobbler's Peg. So I grew up with this and it, those little black things there, they stick to your clothes. And um, they stick to your clothes and they're annoying when you're a little kid and they can tickle you and stuff. Oh and there's a little bee. Oh, I scared him off, I oh, know, there he is. And so you can see the, the flowers. Now it kind of does bear a similarity to this plant called the toothache plant. So I'm not sure if they've actually just named that one, uh, named this. This is uh, Bindon's, what's it called? Uh, Bindon's Pilosa. So I don't know if they've named this one um, the toothache plant because this one is known as Cobbler's Peg or Bindon's Pilosa. So I don't know if that other toothache plant's this one or another one because it does look similar flowers. I would say it's another one because the bulbs in the middle were bigger and I don't think it was an Australian plant. So this is Cobbler's Peg anyway and apparently uh, I thought it was a famine food but then I've done more research on it and it turns out uh, the leaves are eaten raw, added to cook dishes, blah blah blah, uh, dried for future use. It's a very good source of chlorophyll, vitamin C, calcium, iron, potassium and magnesium, tannin, in the plant, treatment for diarrhea and dysentery, and for respiratory congestion. And then the flowers and leaves are chewed for toothache. Research in Thailand in 2006 found that cobbler's peg have strong antibacterial activity against dental caries pathogen Streptococcus mutans. This anaerobic uh, bacterium commonly found in the mouth is a significant contributor to tooth decay. So it, uh, as it sticks to the surface of the teeth while uh, metabolizing sugar and other energy sources from foods we eat. So I won't read it all out to you. Uh, this is taken from the Your Natural Paradise page once again. So if you just go there to the Your Natural Paradise page. And we're here in Nimbin, Australia. So there's a view out the back and the car park coming in. Uh, there's actually some nasturtium just up there, which I'm also going to identify. Maybe I'll just leave it in the same video. Um, but yeah, so also what I found was, uh, it says here um, that this plant here, Cobbler's Peg, uh, Man has found that this persistent weed has given relief from many ailments. In fact, one researcher listed over 90, which included allergies, angina, baldness, blowsness, cancer, candida, uh, colitis, constipation, diabetes, fevers, food poisoning, gastroenteritis, gout, gallstones, infections, heat rash, headache, hemorrhoids, insect bites, in indigestion, liver disease, malaria, nervous problems, parasites, obesity, rheumatism, scurvy, tonsillitis, tuberculosis, ulcers, urinary infections and vomiting, to name a few uses. So that's, um, it just grows everywhere. Look, that's the plant everywhere over there. Just grows anywhere on the side of the road here. So it's pretty easy to identify. You see the flowers there. And no other plant I know has these things and so they'll stick to your clothes you can see that <laughs> that might be fun for the kids to annoy their friends with if you want to grow that one so that's an easy low maintenance plant to grow um, and I think everyone just thinks it's 